All right, uh, here's a little serving theory. It's actually not a theory, it's based on research. So based on uh, true research. So uh, I had this friend named Tom Duquette, played lacrosse for Virginia. His son played tennis, number one for Virginia, Michael Duquette. So we used to collaborate a lot when um, when uh, Michael was a young junior before he played at UVA. So uh, that's Tom Duquette. That's what Tom Duquette looks like. Well, anyway, so one of the nights we're talking about serving, and he was sharing with me this research that was done um, in regards to racquetball serving. He said they took three groups in this research project. And it was all about the serve in racquetball. So they took uh, one group and they taught them traditionally, they used verbal coaching and shared with them how to, how, the proper technique on how to serve in racquetball. That was the first group. The second group, they just use a radar gun. And so they just use a raid, radar gun and provided that group with um, how fast the serve was. That was it. The third group, they did nothing. Did nothing with the third group. So when the data came back from the research, as far as the most effective serve in racquetball, the group with the radar gun, um, they did the best. And the group where you did nothing, where they did nothing, that did second best. The group that you gave them verbal coaching, that did third best. So as a college coach, I use this uh, multiple times. I um, Sometimes doing nothing is a good thing. Um, however, just walking around with a radar gun, giving that information to the player, Maybe they're playing some singles points or doubles points. And um, if you give them, okay, the first serve was 105. The second serve was 85. Uh, something like that. Giving them that objective feedback, from my experience, using that research, it provided, um, it was very effective. Because they would figure out, okay, if I, I want to hit it harder, um, do I need to get a better toss? Do I need to be more relaxed upstairs? Do I need to coil more and uncoil? But they figured it out. Um, so the radar gun should be used in practicing the serve. It's, it's, it's probably the most important tool. Or you could just sit next to the basket and tell them they need to toss it better and show them some corny little drills uh, that you might find on YouTube. Or um, I think the radar gun's a lot better. Sometimes doing nothing. But I will tell you in doubles, in doubles for sure, serving harder in doubles and serving more aces can cure a lot of things. It can cure the person that can't volley at net or doesn't track the volley. It can cure team chemistry. So serving bigger and serving better and getting free points uh, definitely helps the doubles. But please take away from this the research, the groups. One group, traditional technique. Another group, uh, the feedback, objective feedback from a radar gun. Third group, do nothing. And sometimes the best coaches are the ones that, uh, or the most effective coaches are the ones that, um, uh, 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 refrain from doing anything. It's not easy to do. However, um, maybe give it a try. And I'd like to thank Tom Duquette for that, uh, that research that he shared with me. Also, I'd like to thank Running Light. This thing tastes really good.